Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. Today I'm out here in Little Bangladesh, which is a very small part of Los Angeles in between Vermont and uh, Western on 3rd Street. And I'm checking out another great restaurant today. I'm gonna be continuing on with my Asian food tour by this time covering the country cuisine of Pakistan. So today I'm trying Pakistani food actually for the first time in my life. I've never had Pakistani food before so this is going to be such an interesting experience and I do know that's kind of a little bit like Indian food but probably you know has its differences as well. So anyways I'm at this restaurant called Biryani Kebab House which I heard is like one of the best um, Pakistani restaurants in Los Angeles. Really authentic, really tasty, people raving about it. It might e even be like the highest rated Pakistani restaurant in LA. So if you guys don't know what Pakistani food looks like and you are very curious, then you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing overview of Pakistani food. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can get these episodes weekly. All right, so I think I just got here to the restaurant and now I'm about to go in and try some of their awesome food. So to give you a little history about this restaurant, it's been here for about seven years here in the little Bangladesh area. They do have a second location in downtown as well, which is really big, really nice seating. So as of this video, two different locations going on. But like I said, they have some really awesome uh, Pakistani food in here as well. And what you'll notice is that it's lumped within the Indian and Bangladesh category as well. And it's usually like that with restaurants, especially here in LA, because of the 80% similarity between Indian food and Pakistani food. But there are, of course, some unique Pakistani foods that I'm hoping to try here today. This kitchen is so unique in the way that it's divided up because in India, especially in those really big restaurants and in Pakistan as well, they can have chefs for individual stations, but here, of course, they have to combine it all into one kitchen. So how exactly do you do it? At this restaurant, it looks like they got, for example, one station where they make all the curries and the stews, everything that goes on top of the stove. And in this section is the tandoori oven. This is where they make all like the bread, garlic naan, regular naan, as well as all the kebabs, every single kind of kebabs which then would hang right over there. Isn't that so cool? This is like all the chicken, bone-in chicken, regular chicken, white meat chicken, green color chicken, you got it. Every single kind of chicken that's hanging over here. And then you move a little bit more down. And in this section, this is where they make all the biryani, like all the rice with the different proteins. So yeah, they got it all going on here in this kitchen. So right here we have the pampano fish with uh, this kind of a sauce that's over it. Yeah, this is one of the specialties I'm having today. Oh man, it's gonna go into the tandoori oven. Wow, just like that. And how long does it cook in here for? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. There it goes, the pampano fish is going to be roasting in this imported from India tandoori oven for 10 minutes. Wow, that oven is so, so hot. I can tell the fish is already making good progress in there. Pretty soon it's gonna be done and ready to serve. Oh man, look at that, it is finished. Okay. The interesting thing about this restaurant is that when you walk in here, it looks kind of like a fast food type of place, but I assure you, like once you look at the food, especially if you dine in here, it's it looks like it came out of an upscale restaurant. It looks so good. Everything is well presented and the ingredients look so delicious. And I heard that the head chef here at this restaurant, he's like, he's been working in Pakistani food for 25 years back in Pakistan. So he knows this stuff and he's putting out all these specialties that some of which I'm trying here today. So let me show you some of the things that I got here for today. Beginning with the first one, this is what's called the chicken shik kebab. So shik kebabs are very popular in Pakistan. It's very simple. It's like ground chicken that's been formed in this shape, you know, like this kebab shape. It goes into the tandoori oven and then out comes this masterpiece on a sizzling plate. What I noticed about the chicken kebab is it's really soft, like really soft in your mouth. And you can taste the spices in there too. 
So there is a little bit of a kick to it. Like when it touches your mouth, you'll notice that it is a little bit spicy, but in a good way. And then of course you can use your lemon wedges to make it a little bit more sour, which should enhance the flavor. Mm. Oh. oh yeah. And this is an epic thing. This is what's called the lamb shank curry. That is the big piece of lamb shank that's right there. All that curry sauce on the bottom. What a gourmet dish this is. You don't really need to cut it that much because it's so soft that it's gonna fall off the bone, which is, it is already. So I think even if I use my fork, I can be able to kind of cut it, I think. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna use my knife just to go a little faster. Oh man, this thing is so soft. So incredibly soft. Oh man, that is so good. It is like so soft, melt in your mouth soft. And you know, the other thing about this is that the taste of lamb, it's not like lamby or gamey whatsoever. It has a really nice, like fresh taste to it. Almost tastes like very soft pork in some ways. And that curry sauce on it, this brown thick sauce is truly magical because this is what gives the lamb its tremendous taste. So if you're a lamb fan, then they got it here. You definitely get, need to get this lamb shank. And if you love curry as well, then this is like your ideal food right here. This is called the Malay Boti Kebab. This is another one of their specials because they are releasing a lot of specials these days. So I definitely wanted to try this special. It looks really good. So it's basically chicken breast kebab that's sizzling over here. Wow. One word comes to mind, very tender. I wonder what kind of uh, dressing is on the outside. Like, um, I wonder if it's like a yogurt type of a thing that's cooked on top of it, but it is so good though. It is so juicy. Oh man, yeah, you, you gotta get this one, especially if you love chicken. Oh, look at this other sizzling chicken. This is the Hari Yali chicken, which is chicken kebab. These are thicker pieces of chicken. It has like this green sauce all over it. Delicious. The Hari Yali, that's the name of the sauce that's on top of it, this green sauce. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what's in this green sauce. All I know is that it's kind of creamy and there's like a, somewhat of a spice to it that makes this chicken taste very good. So this is one of the most interesting chicken that you'll ever eat, like this green color tandoori chicken. And here's another special. This is the fresh pompano cooked in curry sauce. This is what they were making back there in the tandoori oven. Oh yeah, this is basically barbecued fish with like a curry type of a sauce all over it. Oh man, that pompano fish is amazing. It's very soft and I love the curry sauce that's on top of it. And of course you can taste the barbecue flavor of the fish. Everything about this is so amazing. That's why I gotta take me another bite. Ooh, man, it just like melts in your mouth. Wow, this is a really good dish. So think of this as like a barbecue curry fish dish. I don't know if you ever had anything like that before, but this is basically what it tastes like. It's amazing. If you want fish, they got it here. They have kebab fish here, barbecued with that curry flavor. This is the one you gotta get. And this one is the chicken tandoori. Look how beautiful this is. This is popular in both Pakistan and in India as well. It's basically chicken marinated with spices cooked in the tandoori oven. Wow, super soft chicken. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, this is good. Really good. And check this out, guys. This is the biryani right here. Biryani is a very popular in Pakistan as well as in India, so I had to try this. It's basically rice, and this one is with chicken and some spices inside of it. Mmm. Oh, that is magical. Nothing like a really good biryani to comfort your soul. And you have your choice of chicken, beef, eggs, vegetable, you name it. Where is the chicken in here? Okay, I think I found a piece of the chicken actually. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, this in itself is a really complete meal, but even if you just end up ordering this, you're gonna be happy and you're gonna be so full too. Amazing comfort food. 
And in ending off my meal, I decided to get some ice cream. These are specialty ice creams that you can find all over Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. So this is called the Kufi. I got two different flavors today. One is the pistachio and one is the mango. That is good. It's so creamy. And there's no artificial preservatives or anything in here. This is like fresh made in this restaurant. I find that very impressive. So if I had to pick which one that I really liked the most that I think all of you guys should really get. Okay, I think the first one that comes to my mind is the lamb shank because this one is, it's just amazing in every way. Like I said, the meat falls right off the bone. It's soft, it's not gamey. It has the perfect lamb flavor. And then with all the curry that's like smothered all over it, it's perfect. Like even the curry, you just wanna drink or take it home and put it over your rice. It is such an amazing lamb dish. And in terms of, you know, like what would be a close second? That's like so hard because a part of me wants to say the Malay boti, the chicken, is um, like the, the specialty chicken is a close second, which is so awesome. And then the chicken biryani is also pretty awesome as well. But whatever you get here, I don't think you can go wrong with it. They have like a variety of many different things for everybody. Chicken, beef, uh, vegetables, lamb, bread, you name it. So if you guys are looking to try some really great Pakistani food, especially in Los Angeles, then you must consider Biryani Kebab House in Koreatown and of course their other location in downtown LA. I am done and I'm taking off from Little Bangladesh and going home. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, give me a like, of course. Comment on the section below if there's any of these Pakistani foods that you recognize or you would like to recommend for us all as well. And finally, please do subscribe to me so that you can get these awesome videos weekly. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and that you'll have some of this rocking Pakistani food someday soon here in LA. And be sure to click on my other videos on the screen so that you can see some of the other Asian foods that I've done all around LA. So I'll see you guys in the next video.